Many of our policymakers think that the tobacco problem has been solved. They're really ready to move on to other issues. So demonstrating how tobacco companies market to our kids at, at the point of sale is really, really important. The industry is changing things. The environment changes all the time. It's important to know what's out there. Unlike secondhand smoke, where you, you see the smoke drifting through the air, uh, it, it's hard to see the problem with point of sale unless you clearly document it. Looking at the stores and, and collecting some data, some store observation data, it, it starts to give us an idea of what the landscape is for health in our communities. Health advocates use store observations to understand the availability and marketing of healthy and unhealthy products in their communities. They conduct store observations to systematically collect information on tobacco product marketing, availability, and pricing in retail environments. If we don't do store observations, we're relying on someone else's data. We're trying to um, project, you know, maybe based on national data rather than real specific local data about what's actually going on in your community. So for that reason, I find that store observations are really helpful in engaging the community. In Massachusetts, we have funded programs who are out there and they're doing the store audits and we have youth groups that are out there doing store audits, but engaging uh, other community members in this process gives them a much better understanding of what the retail environment is like. We start to look at it, we realize people live in an environment. They live often in a, a very uh, dangerous environment, overrun with tobacco products low-cost alcohol, soda, and packaged food. So in San Francisco, we're doing a lot of healthy retail work to really engage the store owners. They're parts of the community like everyone else, and in many cases, they really want to be a part of the solution. They simply don't know how. We trained young people to do data collection in San Francisco. None of them had ever done anything like it before. It was a very hands-on project. It allowed them to really lead in their community, to go to corner stores they had gone to a million times before to buy a soda or you know, pick up some candy. These young people started to realize uh, that things don't have to be the way they are. There's nothing set in stone that says that a corner store should look this way. It allowed them to kind of start dreaming about what their community could look like. It's a great visioning process to go and assess stores and then, and then say, what should your stores look like?